On these pictures, filmed in September, authorities in Myanmar claimed to have found a mass grave. 52 bodies in total. According to the army, they were Hindu villagers killed by Muslim insurgents. Allegations denied by the Arakan Rohingya Free Army, but now backed up by Amnesty International. In their report released on Wednesday, the organization shared the grisly details of the attack. So around 8 a.m. on the morning of the 25th of August, ARSA fighters surrounded a Hindu area of a village known as Kamong Sek. They forced the men, women, and children to come out from their homes. There they divided the men from the women, and then they killed execution style, first the men, and then the vast majority of the women and children as well. Amnesty International investigated two suspected attacks against Hindu minorities. According to the non-profit, almost 100 people have been killed by Rohingya rebels. But this pales in comparison to the nearly 700,000 belonging to this Muslim minority who have had to flee violence from the Myanmar army. The credit goes to Amnesty International for actually verifying these reports and actually putting it in the context of the, the broader violence, um, that this was not a one-sided violence. It doesn't excuse it at all, but it does put another layer of complexity uh, in, into the violence over the past year. For Amnesty International, this report is a matter of shedding light on the violence perpetrated by Rohingya rebels in Hindu villages, while also insisting that the scale of such an attack in no way justifies the thousands of victims of the forced Rohingya exodus.